Hello, everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and these are our 2021 readings by sign. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Please remember that I do have courses over at Gumroad, and I always leave all that information in the description box below. So what I'm doing here is I, even though I'm not an astrologer, I'm just using the signs to break down into smaller uh, groups of people so that I can read. And uh, we will see what is coming up for you in 2021. Let's get started. Hello, Gemini. Let's see what is going on for you. What energies you need to be aware of for 2021. You are breaking the mold. That is what I'm hearing first and foremost. You are trying a new approach. And this comes because of a soul ping. And I've been saying this a lot to people because there's this message here of we are learning to put a signal out or we're realizing that we're putting a signal out and that we're getting a message back, right? So this is a time for a lot of you out there where you, the word is accountability here, where you start realizing that on an energetic level, you're taking more accountability for the things that are being drawn into your life. And this is a rediscovery of your communication style, um, you know, how you approach things, just understanding that you have a very active part <laughs> in what is going on for you, right? So let me see here, Keep uh, accountability, taking a fresh approach, just taking a fresh approach and be more mindful of your internal world, be more mindful of that. Now, this is going to conflict a little bit with your ego consciousness because on the ego surface level, you might want to be getting out there and I wouldn't say arguing, but like maybe just getting out there and stating what you feel you need to state, but watch what's happening in your inner world. This is one of the things that you're on this planet to learn is to reconcile things within yourself first. Okay. So this could be a very promising time of healing. Some of you may get into therapy. Some may decide to move, you know, these are all these things where it's like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to take this shot and give myself this chance. Not because from the mental body, I think I should, but rather I, I feel in my heart that this could lead to some self-discovery again, some healing. Just be careful. Don't do anything impulsively. Okay. So there's that. Let's get you some cards for 2021. All right, so your first card out here, the energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. So again, with all of these self-discoveries that are happening, give yourself a chance here because it feels like there could be some confusion for you. Definitely, there could be some confusion. And we as humans were so designed to keep pushing on things and to make it make sense and to turn it into something or whatever. And what this is really teaching you is that this energy uh, needs to break open slowly, okay? It needs to build up. So no just, you know, going in there and trying to force something to happen that's not ready to happen. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. Um, okay, so be bold and make the first move is what this says. The energy is gaining momentum. You'll know when the time is right. Okay, so here you go. All that stuff that we were saying, you know, you're starting to come into this more, this steadier emotional place. Again, that could have a lot to do with your healing. And when, like, it's building, the energy's building this momentum. And then when it's the right time, you'll know exactly what to do. Now, if you go on a scramble, trying to force a solution, trying to make things make sense, trying to, because some of you out there, I think in this year, you're going to discover that maybe you have this habit of trying to contrive a story around something just so that it feels more comfortable or something like it being in denial and telling yourself, oh, it's fine. It's fine when it's not fine. Yes. So being bold and making that first move might have to be about you taking the first move for your healing or being bold. And when an opportunity does come up, you know, 
that's the right time because you you've done the work <laughs> right and then we have surrender to the divine full moon so lots of things are going to be revealed to you this year about you this is about you and about how you approach things and there's going to be some shifting and changing that needs to come around that so if you do start to find that you're getting super stressed you're getting confused you feel lost surrender to the divine i can't stress it enough you really need to be kind of going steadily along this path because really even if you don't listen to this video <laughs> and you go ahead and you, you push on something it might be successful for a time but you're going to learn your lessons around it okay and then it's going to drop off so be very careful with that and then we have don't let pride get in your way full moon and leo we're just saying be careful with that don't try to force a story around something so that it feels comfortable for you because that's what you think it should be. Yes. This is also getting out of the ego. There's <laughs> another full moon, right? Yeah, a full moon and a full moon. So lots to be seen, uh, to be revealed and to be released. You got to release some stuff. And that has to do with whatever you thought you should be in this world, whatever you thought your contribution would be. Okay, that's changing. So your contribution to this world doesn't have to, I know we put so much emphasis on what's my purpose? What's my purpose? How am I supposed to show up in this world? Well, that's partly our pride getting in the way because we want to be known for something. Yes, we want to have that label. <laughs> we want that label because the label feels comfortable. This is your time to release all of that and give yourself a little bit of freedom. Okay, so the color cards right here next to me. Let's pull out your color card. Your card is tangerine, be spontaneous and have fun. Uh, the number is 17. Now, I know the, <laughs> the message before was the energy is gaining momentum. That's for the big stuff in life. The day-to-day, -day, give yourself a chance to have more fun. So you're, <laughs> this is part of your healing. This is part of your healing, like getting back in touch with that innocence, um, you know, not taking everything so seriously until it's time to take it seriously. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.